Hi Taurus, welcome to your reading. This is gonna be for, I'm gonna explain this because I didn't get your monthlies out, which you know something's gotta be wrong if I can't even manage to get the monthlies out. I did for half and then something else happened. So for those of you that um, have worked with me, you know I've been going through a lot of dental stuff. If I haven't mentioned it in the readings, I'm not sure if I have or not to you guys. Um, over the last year, it's just been nonstop. I've had to redo my entire upper. Um, lots of problems involved in that, and it's been an issue. So it has stopped me from being able to focus on getting your readings out. So I apologize for that. But what this reading is going to be is, and it's over, so hopefully things will get much more stable now, and I can keep pumping out some readings for YouTube. So we're going to go from mid-month to mid-month, mid-June to mid-July for this. I'm listing it as just June. Um, but you'll get the picture when you click in or you're here. So it is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. If this one doesn't resonate, definitely check out those other placements. It is a general reading, so it may not resonate for everyone who watches. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. Thank you guys for all of your support. Thank you um, again. And if you are new, I hope if you enjoy the messages, I'm getting it out. My brain is thinking that I forgot to say something. If you enjoy the messages, I hope you will subscribe. Hit that like button, all that good stuff. What I was going to say is we are going to get into your current energy, the near future, what you don't see coming, and then what spirit wants you to focus on. We're going to do a lot of things. So if you want to stick around, a lot of oracle cards will get messages and all that good stuff. So thank you guys. If you would like a personal reading, that's the last thing I'm going to say. That information is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Let me adjust this just a hair. All right. So the first thing I want to do is pull out an astrology card. That gives me kind of an idea of what the theme of this reading is. So we have mutable energy. Um, you are not immutable. You're a fixed sign. But mutable energy is what's popping up for you. So the idea is surrender, fluidity, and welcoming change. Okay, something new is going to be coming into your life. It could be within the next 30 days, but it's just that it's preparing you for this time where they need you to be a little bit more flexible. Mutable, mutable energy tends to be more flexible than other energies you're fixed and then there's cardinal signs so that's what i feel like they're asking you to do is kind of it, i'm doing my hands the same when it's in the picture it's like surrender and allow this to come in because it may feel a little strange it may feel a little bit you know it may ruffle your feathers a little bit we're going to keep going but it's definitely change is always good we just don't always see the good in it until either far after or, you know, after it's already happened. Okay, let's get into the cards. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so the overall energy, we have the four of wands. This is a good thing. Maybe there's some good changes that are going to be happening around your home. I just heard if you're going to sell a home, that things are going to work out well. Um, or if you're purchasing a home. Uh, if it's been tough to find, because right now, I mean, the housing market is crazy. I've probably said it in all your videos between the high rents and the high interest rates and all the things that are happening. I mean, this this happens all the time. It's every, you know, 15, 16 years, we see something change in the market and we're all so astonished by it. Things are changing, but this is a good sign to me that there's going to be something really stable and comforting about that. For others of you, I'm going to throw it out there. It's not for everybody. There could be a possibility that you decide to move in with somebody or get engaged or even marriage could be happening, right? So go with the flow. If it seems a little bit stressful, things are going to work themselves out. All right, let's keep going. I don't usually get that many messages from one card. All right, right now you could be feeling just a little bit um, unsure of yourself. I don't want to say insecure. We all have insecurities, but I don't think that's what it is. This is just maybe your confidence feels a little bit lower than the normal right now. Let's see what this is about. Hermit. All right, look, they want you to take a really, I'm going to giggle because I love you guys. I love Tauruses. I love you all, but I, I love your sometimes stubbornness about certain things. And there's just so much about your personality. It's amazing. Sometimes you just really have to remind yourself of who you are. I think sometimes Tauruses forget. It's like anybody that forgets what their power is, but especially you guys, because you stand so firm in what you believe in and you are so strong, you could have Virgo placements, by the way. It's like sometimes you just need to be reminded. So go back within and please don't forget who you are. 
you're stronger than anything that comes at you. It may feel like you get laid out at times and there may be some frustration involved, but mm -mm, nothing's going to get you down. Okay, this is a good sign that whatever has been bogging you down or stress that you've been feeling, if it was in the upright, I'd say you're done, but this to me tells me you're really done. So where there's may have been some upset or difficulty, it's going to be releasing. You just have to remember who you are and get your strength back and your confidence. Okay, so in the near future, the Five of Swords, whatever battle's been going on is no longer going to exist. There's a battle that's going away in your life. And you're going to be really happy about it. Um, Ten of Cups, obviously, that's about happiness. Happiness in partnership. So maybe you and your partner have been squabbling up to this point and you just start releasing anything connected to that fighting and things get much better. Things could improve in a current marriage or current relationship whatever it may be for you. It just looks good. I don't think where you're feeling unsettled has to do necessarily with your relationship. I think it has to do more with you and what's going on in your life. This feels like if there has been any arguing, it's related more to what's going on with your life, not necessarily that there's lots of problems with your partner. And if for any reason, either of you are projecting something that's going on in your life into the relationship, I think it'll be settled. I, I think... Maybe you're going to have to look at it and go, were they really meaning to do this? Um, am I truly betrayed by this person? If you have been, I understand. And you're like, no, things aren't good. And I've dealt with a lot of assholes. Then I get it. But in this case, this is more about somebody who's not interested in fighting any, any longer and really finding joy and happiness here. So you're going to find that in the near future. So the Empress is coming out in reverse. You know, sometimes we have to just jump off of our throne for a little bit and maybe you've been on the throne and you're always the one that's in control and you've always got things together and sometimes you just don't want to fight to have to keep things together sometimes you just want to be and I think that's what's happening you just kind of want to be like you can't always wear the crown every queen has to take her crown off give yourself a break relax go have some fun with friends and family and and whoever makes you really happy in your life and take that crown off for a little bit like you guys, I know, have come into this lifetime with so much to conquer. And sometimes the weight of that is really exhausting. So if you could give yourself a little bit of a break and, and not feel like you have to carry the weight of the world on your shoulders and just go be happy for a little bit, then that's good advice, for, I think, from spirit. That's what they're asking you to do. Okay, so the world. Good sign because that's in the area of what you don't see coming. There's going to be change. Oh, God. What little bit of nudity is on there? It's ridiculous. I got to get a another main deck. So the world, yes, you know what that means. That's a site, one cycle closing and another one opening up. You could have been feeling this for some time, but you're wondering what it is. They're saying, look, you've got the world in your hands. What does that mean? There are so many new opportunities, so many new things to look forward to. But this change, even though it, it may have taken some time, it, well, yeah, it's taken some time. It may have been frustrating. You're right at the precipice of whatever this is. So it, to me, it feels like a new start, a new beginning of your life. Ace of Cups. All right. This is being fulfilled. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's new love. For some of you, it could be. To me, it's about being individually fulfilled. So your future is about you feeling emotionally fulfilled. If for any reason, which by the way, you can't change it. It was part of your experience. The past was just too overwhelming and you could feel the changes have to come. This is that time where this is really about you finding joy and happiness and feeling fulfilled again. So know that if there has been some disruption, it's about to change. This energy between, and, and it could be between June and July, and no perfect timing per se, but no doubt you've been feeling it coming. Or it could be something significant that happens in this month and you're like, freedom. <laughs> All right, so what Spirit wants you to focus on, the Knight of Cups in reverse. They want you to focus on where you have not taken chances or gone towards things that really um, fulfill you. It's important that if you have not done that, that this is the time when it needs to change. And don't do it if it doesn't make you... Here's a really... And this is for everybody, but I, I have to say this really strongly to you. If you don't want to do it, don't. Period. 
There is nothing in your life that you are absolutely obligated to. So if you need to say no to some people because it doesn't fill you up or make you happier, it isn't a pleasant experience, and you've probably been practicing this for a while, this is one of those times where spirits like, get really good at it. Really brush up on those skills. Because this is a time when you're supposed to be doing things that fulfill you specifically. Lessons, not all done, but a lot of them in the past. Because you're aware now. We have to shift how we're doing these readings. We're going to have to shift with the times. The times are changing. And the people that are coming in that have woken up and gotten to this place are ready to get into this new energy and live their lives much differently. It's just being very conscious of your circumstances and why you're here and not just the old conditioned human being that you were. All right, keep moving. So don't do it if you don't want to. The star. This is going to be very healing energy, but there's something about leaving things in the past and still emptying some of that energy and emotions and things that are connected to your past and focusing more on the future, which is, I mean, listen, you're human. You're going to do it on occasion, but the star is definitely healing things from that past. So you could find yourself being in a much better place over the next, you know, couple of months and definitely a much stronger change in the next 30 days where it's like, I just can't, I'm, I'm still dumping out some of those emotions connected to this whole waking up process, which takes a long time. And I think we're always learning, but we're not going through the, the rough of it all the time. So I think for a lot of you, you're dumping out a lot of the emotions connected to that past stuff. You're ready. You have one foot in the, in this new energy already, which is what's important. And they just want you to refocus on putting more energy into that and allowing what's behind you. Don't even look at it. Just keep dumping that behind you. Okay. Yeah. A lot less stress. They want you to get more sleep, do the best that you can to sleep, nap if you have to, um, and try to work on de-stressing your life the best way that you know how. However, that is going to look for you a lot. Of, a lot of Tauruses work so hard, it's really hard to tell you guys not to stress because there's stress involved with hard work. But in this case, this is what they're saying. They want you to focus on is trying to de-stress and get some more sleep. All right, let's get your... I forgot what I was going to say. Your next cards. You know what it is. I'm clarifying. There we go. Okay, so with the mutable energy, this surrender and fluidity and welcoming change, the hermit. So there's a part of you, this is a really important card because he's shining the light. Here it's hermit too, but in this one he's shining the light on the snake. What does that mean? It, you going in and remembering who you are, but you're a different version of you. Each time you shed one of those layers, just like a snake. I mean, you exposing snakes, yes, but you're also shedding a version of yourself. And I think you're seeing that more clearly now that some aspect of you is going away. And that's where the surrender comes in with this mutable card. Because obviously, as things start to shift and change in our lives, we're leaving some version of ourself behind. And I, I think that's probably more prominent right now in the energy for you than it has been in a really long time. Okay, so the four of wands, we have the wheel of fortune. There could have been some, some problems in the past or some difficulty or feeling like things weren't going to work out for you. Or feeling like something wasn't going to benefit you. But it is going to get better. So there was a question around the Wheel of Fortune. Four of Cups. Um, I'm going to say something that wasn't meant for you is going to pass you by. If there's a, Like if you didn't get a house and you thought it was the one that you were supposed to get. Um, it's because it wasn't the right one. You may have loved everything about it. But it wasn't meant for you. So just know there's a reason why that didn't work out. Okay, and that's not, again, for everybody, but maybe you don't understand why it happened that way, but when the Ace of Swords comes out in reverse, it's just telling you that you don't really need to understand that part of it. You just need to trust that there's a reason. Okay, so over here with the Queen of Wands and the Hermit, remembering who you are. See, some of you get really stuck in your head about this, and maybe you question your abilities, um, and you question yourself, and this is where it isn't... I don't feel like this is connected to self-worth. I think just sometimes, you know, the crown tilts and we question who we are and do we have the strength to get through and sometimes we have imposter syndrome, whatever it is. If you've been stuck in your head quite a bit lately, I feel like spirit's trying to pat you on the rear end and say, get up and remember who you are because this is, is not it. You're just feeling a little bit tired. Let's adjust that crown a little bit. 
So the Hermit with the Ten of Swords. Whatever you've had to finish up, whatever drama was in your life, it's leaving your life. If it hasn't already, it's going to leave your life because you've learned whatever lessons from that situation that you needed to learn. And again, the, the whole not wanting to fight because you just want to be happy. It's like, I've, I've done these battles. I've been through these things. I'm not interested in that kind of fight again in my life. I just want peace. I want to be happy. King of Cups. You could have been dealing with somebody who was um, emotionally unstable or immature. And now you're like, I just go do you. I, I need people in my life. I'm not going to fight with people that don't have the emotional maturity that I have. I'd rather be happy than argue. It could just be past situations that you've dealt with. And it doesn't matter what sign they are. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be it. It doesn't have to be. It's just somebody who is in that space. If you are, by the way, a, a feminine energy, a female, and you've dealt with the masculine male energy. That's all I'm talking about right now. I am When we talk about gays or the LBGTQ, all that stuff, I'm totally 100% love who you want to love. That's not it. I'm just talking about specifically this connection and how it's changing in the future. We are going to have to make space for those masculine energies that have not expanded. So if you are, as a Torian woman pulling back and feeling yourself separating from the masculine and wanting to be alone, there's a reason for that because there's space that has to be made so that they can grow. If you're with an evolved person and you're evolved, great. If you're not and you're like, what's going on? It's because those are breaking apart so that they can evolve and we have to stay. I mean, the arguing that's going on and how the genders are treating each other is fascinating to me, but that's really what's happening if anybody cared. Okay, so the Ten of Cups with the Empress. Um, we've got the King of Pentacles. Yeah, you had somebody around you that was definitely unstable. Or you, these may have been the, the traits that a father had. Somebody who was emotionally unstable or um, unstable in general. Or just not good values around finances. Whatever it is, this is definitely something you've experienced in your life. Whether it be a past partner, a parent, um, things that you were. And at times, maybe you never felt like you could appease this person. It's like it wouldn't have mattered what you did. So again, I'm going to tell you, readjust your crown. Sometimes being a support like to a person like this is really, really exhausting. And Spirit's wanting you to feel a little bit more free. So if you can, and you can let go of feeling responsible for whatever or whoever this situation um, it involves or whoever it is, it's going to be important that you do. So that you're not carrying the weight of all of this, not in this new time that's so important for you. So the world with the two of wands and what you don't see coming. Yeah, so the hangman being in reverse is perfect because it just tells you that if you've been dangling along for a while, doesn't matter how long it's been, clearly it's been a while, um, that things are, are definitely changing. So they just really want you to focus more on the future because it's here. This new cycle is definitely here. Um, you're definitely going to be fulfilled by it emotionally because you're going to do things a little bit differently. So let's see what else they have to say about this. Um, remember I said in the beginning, some of you, this is around a relationship. So if you aren't already in something, you're going to meet a person. Unless I meet with you, I can't tell you. I Timing is the worst with psychics. I'm not going to get into that too deeply. The point is... Some The energy of this is coming into your experience. You could be getting much closer to someone. You're much more fulfilled in your love life or you're going to meet somebody new. Does it mean you have to get married? No. Uh, people's minds are changing. Some don't want to get married. It's just paper. Uh, others want that and want to have children. So whatever it is that you truly want in your life, they're trying to tell you that you don't see this coming and it's going to surprise you in some way because it's good. It's success in that area of your life, regardless of your genders, by the way, whether you prefer one or the other, or both, I, whatever, that's your business. Knight of Cups with the star card. Okay. Then we have the death in reverse. So you've already gone through a major transformation. Now all they're asking you to do is, again, dump the past and behind and whatever you don't want to do, don't do and focus on filling up not only your own cup, which is the Ace of Cups as well, but pouring into 
just the things that bring such emotional joy. So if you're asking yourself if you have to go through any more big transformations, at least not right now. It doesn't feel like, I think you've already done that. You've already, you're already shedding that version, that older version of yourself, high priestess. So um, yes, I think your intuition's probably more heightened and probably at its highest level at this point. So they want you to sleep steady, knowing that regardless of the choices that you've made in the past and you thought you were following your intuition and it felt like it didn't work out and it wasn't good, it actually taught you something and it was difficult, yes. But right now they want you to be sure to to flow with it and trust it because this is not leading you into something painful. This is leading you into something much happier than what you've had for a while. All right. Did we ever pull... I don't think we pulled a challenge card. Eight of Wands in reverse. For some of you, if things aren't moving at full speed all the time, you feel like something may be wrong or that may be your challenge, especially communication with people that you care about. So if there hasn't been or there's been delays in movement, I can see that being a challenge. Okay, so the Ten of Cups, I'm being unha unhappy about that. So they're just saying they understand that, yes, when things don't move in a at a certain speed, you may feel a little bit uncomfortable or maybe it makes you a little unhappy or maybe you've been unhappy and change hasn't happened fast enough and they get it. That's why they brought all this out to tell you that it's happening now. All right, what do we want next? We are going to get some advice for you. Oops. All right, six of cups. So I just heard resolution with childhood a lot of that's going to be happening. There's balance. Um, you could reunite. This is also, it could be a, a an animal that you had in childhood that's coming through or an animal in general um, that could be coming through, specifically a dog. It's a dog on the card. So sending lots of love. But it is about past. It is about really healing things from our childhood. And that could be it. You could have finally gotten to that place where you've healed it. You re You know what it was. You understand it. And now you can move on as a fully developed adult. And by the way, I'm 50, almost 53. I don't feel like a fully developed adult. So it doesn't matter what age you are. You're still going to feel young inside and it's okay. When they say age is just a number, it really is. Your soul's energy doesn't really have an age on it. Okay. So a lot of healing and a lot of really good energy, ace of swords. So things they want you to understand, paying attention again, this is very important. It's like your intuition is going to be super heightened. You're going to be getting, I don't know if it's, well, downloads. Yeah. You're going to be getting the information pretty quickly. So sit with that. Even if your external environment doesn't show all the change, you're still going to have an understanding, a really clear understanding of what's coming and what things are about to change. The Empress, okay, good. Because this is, it, it's her with new ideas about things. It could be pregnancy for some of you, absolutely. But your crown's gonna be back. You're gonna be back in your mother-like energy. Katorians are very um, nurturing in that way, male or female. You're very parental in a lot of ways. So some of you could be having children or this is new ideas are gonna be coming and you're gonna feel like this is a new start. It's new life. That's what it really is. And it feels really good when you're creating something new, regardless of your age. Okay, so the Page of Cups, it may start with something small. <laughs> I'll tell you what's funny about this one. See up here, some of you are looking at this like, when pigs fly, like it's never going to happen. But that's not true. It's just going to happen baby steps, right? The little, little emotional bursts of, okay. Yeah, I can raise to this level, but I think you question sometimes whether it can actually happen. So yes, there's going to be much more joy. And the Page of Cups is starting from a fresh space. And the same thing as everything we've been describing. So the Six of Pentacles. So you've got two sixes, which in general is really about balance, right? But this, in both cases, it can be the past coming back. So they, they can have not comfortable explanations. In this case, somebody could be handing you a lot of money. It's not that you have to be cautious because there's a lot of people out around you and like it is in the other card holding out their hand. But yeah, I'd be aware of that as well. I feel like this is saying there's something coming to you and you need to open your hand to it. Like accept this because if you've had di difficulty accepting things in the past, and you haven't gotten to a place where you understand it doesn't matter where it comes from, whether it's money or generosity or whatever it is, 
you need to be open to that. So they want you to open your hand to this and say, it's okay to receive. Some of you need to learn how to receive. It's really important. All right, what's next? We're going to get a couple of these cards, a little bit more advice. Okay, focus and then act. <clears throat> important. Although obviously using your intuition. Change is unavoidable. I haven't seen this card in a bit. So this is really important for you specifically because the card obviously with the mutable came out and said change. So change is always unavoidable. We don't all love it, but time to reflect. Okay, which I think you're doing anyway, especially with the star card. Let the emotions flow. All right, listen, if there are things coming to an end and it's really hard for you to just go cry, some, some Tauruses do, but a lot of you hold your composure um, some of you just need to go and do this and maybe you just do it privately. So not everybody sees it either way. It is definitely time to let a lot of that stuff go. I mean, the star, yeah, we talk about wish fulfillment and healing, but it's so important to allow ourselves to feel the emotions that we feel and let them out of our body and not carry them anymore. Okay. What do we have next? Let's get the lover's oracle. Let's see if we have, oh. All right. Well, they wanted this one to come out. Criticizing one another will only lead to further unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are, and your relationship will magically transform. Okay. Somebody needed to hear that. Twin flames, your passion ignites. Be careful. Those are not meant to be relationships in this life. Everybody describes it differently. It, it is not something that would be easy for you. It's usually a painful situation. Reflection. Give each other some space at the moment. Trust and have faith that all will work out for the best. All right, so space obviously is a little bit important right now within a relationship. So if you've been concerned about it, there's so much good that's coming through this reading. I wouldn't be concerned. You know, sometimes people need space. Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. Okay. There isn't a lot of asking you to be patient necessarily like it was with Virgo. If you happen to have Virgo placements, it's just let it happen. Just let it happen. We can't control everything. And at, at this point, maybe you've, you've finally thrown your hands up and said, I know my nature is this, but I'm really going to throw it up in the wind and just kind of let things flow. Let's get sure. I just saw the regeneration card, so good. It's again an ending and a new beginning. We know what the tens mean. This card has come out for every earth sign. So you guys are all in a really good place. The 18th could be significant excuse me, for you guys as well, there's definitely some kind of feeling of luck. It's not just about blessings. It's it's truly feeling lucky. I don't believe in accidents. Call it luck. That's a human saying that. Serendipity is really happy because you, you know that there are coincidences. You call them, or we all call them coincidences. They aren't. We know that and we accept it when it happens. So it's just that moment when you see something come together and you're like, hmm, yeah, <laughs> and there we go. That's serendipity, right? Being excited about that moment. All right, so go the distance. Don't give up, even if you've been feeling like it a million times. You could be 47, born on the 4th, the 7th, or the 11th of the month. Let me get in the middle of this deck. All right, truth be told. So something is definitely, you're going to, to yourself, I'm not going to say it's somebody else that needs to tell you the truth, but the truth with yourself is going to be super important. The 14th could be important. I'm putting this out. I think it's on the 12th since we're doing mid to mid. There's something about honesty. So just remember I said that 14th, you could be born on the 14th, 1st, 4th, or 5th, and then flexible. So do your best during this time period, especially when there is change that is coming that's inevitable. They're just asking you to do your best to be flexible during this time. The 19th could be significant or your birthday or the 1st, the 9th, or the 10th of the month. And remember adding that up is usually the more flexible you are, the better things go. And while things are changing, it's uncomfortable. So if you can put yourself in that place to, to be as flexible as possible, it's going to do you good. All right, let's get you an Australian animal oracle card. Last card to close this out. Okay, we have the cicada. It's so funny because I know these are out in some places. Oh, God, they're the worst. So you could be 28, born on the 2nd, the 8th, or the 10th. You're getting a lot of 10 energy, which obviously we know is endings and new beginnings, as I mentioned before. So timing. This is what's so important when we want to control when things happen, and it's not happening in our human timing. 
It's the spirit's way of always kind of giving us a kick in the butt and saying, um, <laughs> timing is everything. Everything has to be aligned. Trust us that we're going to do that for you. All right, what do we have with 28? Cicada. Okay, Cicada seems to remind us to be in tune with our internal timing. That too, you have to know when the time is right. Its song invites us to be aware of the cycles throughout our life and to trust in divine timing, knowing that the universe has heard our request and all will be manifested at the exact right time. Cicada asks you to set clear intentions so that your vibrational request will return love and abundance in perfect timing. Divine timing, trust the process, see clear, or set clear intentions. Okay. So yes, all of that's important. It helps, hopefully, put you at ease and the, your ability to trust that things are going to unfold exactly the way they're meant to. Okay, my loves, those are your messages. Thank you so, so much for being here. I can't tell you how much I appreciate you all. Please hit the like button, leave me a comment, and if you would like a personal reading, that info is in the description box below or the about section of my channel. Again, have a great 30 days since it isn't for the actual month, and I will see you in the next one. Lots of love. Take care.